while the burning deployer is now wielding a flamethrower. Okay, there's this add-on mod for the crate mod that I've been looking at and I've wanted to make a video about it and they just updated and I want I need to make a video on it. This is create stuff and additions. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, there's copra armor, zinc armor, and brass armor. That's pretty cool. And tools for them as well. Is it any good? I feel like it would suck. But also, look at this sword. It looks <laughs> insane. Brass is pretty easy to get. I feel like this is very overpowered. Anyways, we're not here to look at the armor. We're here to look at, at these things. What? What? <laughs> I don't, I don't even know what half of this means. Hydraulic engine? Oh, is that a, it's like a crafting thing? Yeah, yeah, it's nothing you play. It's just a crafting thing. Uh, I don't know what this is. Okay, there are slime boots and a slime helmet. Will I bounce? I will. Oh, hold the shit. I'm not even holding space. That was the slime boots on their own. That's pretty cool. I'm just bouncing now. Woo! This is pretty fast. But I have one very important question. What does the slime helmet do? <laughs> what? Does it bounce things on my head? No. Oh! I can, like jump down here and then bounce up. And... Oh, it just automatically puts you there. I am now stuck to the ceiling forever. Okay, slime helmet and slime boots. Solid. Five out of ten. Cool addition. I don't think I would use it. Let's go into the more important stuff here. What is a brass exoskeleton? And how do I use it, sheep? Do you know? Nah, see? Sheep knows nothing about it. Allows the wielder to boost his physical abilities. You can fight with an enemy with bare hands and dig faster in no time. That needs water and fuel to operate. Put it in your water by pressing Q. Put it in your water. Do I need this? The filling tank? Yeah, okay. And then coal, I guess, because it said coal somewhere there. I'm not quite sure. Oh, oh I've put it on now. How do I... How do I fill it up? <laughs> I'm very confused. Do I craft them together? I'm here to give you coal. No. Nope. Put it in your water by pressing Q. Coal, wood, water bucket. Q. I put it in my water. Oh! Ooh. Okay. I understand. I understand. So if we... Oh, well, I already screwed up. If we get infinite water here, and then we fill up the large tank, I remove... Oh, yeah. I still need to know how to give it fuel. It just says coal, wood, water bucket. And I don't really understand. How do I fuel it? Oh, 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 look at it, though. Oh, it's got a flywheel on the back. That's so cool. Hello, sheepy. <clears throat> I found it. <laughs> Large fueling tank. How do I fuel the fueling tank? What does it want? Does it want lava? Ah, I understand. Is it now fueling this? Yes! Our exoskeleton is getting fuel. Oh yeah, it gives me haste and strength. That's cool. So what? Like what? Oh, oh, I'm really strong. How fast do I kill the ender dragon? Well, oh, okay. It seems I have lost the Ender Dragon, so it is flying around somewhere in this world. And uh, exoskeletons, pretty dang cool. I would probably not use it, but I think I would use this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's fill this up with lava and water. I have no clue how this works. If it's good, if it's bad, if it's horrible, just absolutely horrible. Okay, jetpack. Oh yeah, you just hold space. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, look at the little cog wheel spinning when I fly. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I almost have 200,000 subscribers. Better fucking subscribe right now. Please. I'm going to cry. Oh, there's like a max limit for how high you can fly. Is it depending on the block below you? I think it is. We're at 9091 right now. And then we go down one block. 8099. Oh, so the height you can fly depends on how many blocks you have below you, which. Oh! Okay, that was fast. I just sprinted forward and flew. Jeez. I like this so much more than the elytra. It's a bit fast now that I'm sprinting forwards. It's taking now like one fuel at a second. Same with the water. So yeah, for every second, you lose one fuel and one water. That is pretty cool. All right, jetpack. I'm going to be honest here and say that's a 10 out of 10 feature. I would love to have this. If you don't know, I am very anti elytra. I hate the elytra. <laughs> that's what I feel the elytra kills with Minecraft is as soon as you get one, you can just fly everywhere. So when you're playing with the create mod and you're like, oh, I want to build an elevator on in my tower, you know, then someone has an elytra and they just fly past your elevator. And that's kind of sad but the jetpack i feel like it's sort of in between both of the things that's really cool i want to check out the flamethrower i believe i fueled this with lava as well that would make sense that is definitely how it works oh perfect a horse hello what the fuck off a horse how are you doing you little shit you're gonna die now no <laughs> die 
yes, there we go. All right, you know what? Flamethrower. Uh, sure, why not? Can I put it in like a deployer? Oh, okay. Well, the burning deployer is now wielding a flamethrower. No. Oh, I was hoping it would shoot. Look at that. That's <laughs> fucking threatening. <laughs> Murderous deployer. I want to see how this works. Experience pickaxe. What do you do? Gradually crumbles it. And if you're lucky, the tool will spawn XP orbs. We have not yet seen any XP orb. Hey, one, one orb. And another one. I mean, that's cool, but I guess to craft it... Oh, and that's not good enough experience. Okay, so I don't know why one would use this, because you could just get the XP from this and you use a normal pickaxe. I'd pro one out of 10 feature. Flamethrower, I change it. It's a 10 out of 10 now. <laughs> I'm starting to enjoy killing animals. <laughs> Blazing pickaxe, as hot as an authentic blaze. Cook the block, the tools break? Yeah. It definitely cooks the blocks. I guess someone would use it. It's a cool feature. I'm, I mean, this jetpack though is amazing. I cannot stop flying. It is so fun. Okay, so for this entire video, there's been one feature that I have uh, tried to not use. I've saved it for the end because it is very, very, very cool. This. Yeah, <laughs> it is indeed a drone. And I have no idea how any of this works. Okay, let's see. An unmanned aerial vehicle made of brass is your faithful companion. Add modules to access all of these abilities, like fighting, transporting stuff, or mining? Okay, that is way cooler than I thought. I, ju I just thought I'd have a flying drone. And then we have the controller. Right click in the air, switch on off the module. Up held, increase the drone reach. Down held, decrease the drone. How do I... Do I need to, like, turn on the drone? Because it is... It's very much dead. How do I make it fly? <laughs> Hello? Oh, I'm flying again. Drone, please fly. I'm begging you. Oh, these are the components. Brass drill head, copper magnet. Ah, oh, how do I put it on? Oh, I put it on. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I get it. Okay, so the drone will follow my mouse. And then if I press arrow down, it comes closer. And arrow key up, it moves away. Oh, that's an interesting choice of controlling it, but I mean, I kind of like it. I guess that means you can't automate it though, which is sad. I thought I could make a drone army that would mine for me, but uh, apparently not. Okay, how do I make it dig blocks? I'm trying my best to make it mine. Okay, uh, so the drone is very hard to control, <laughs> but still a cool feature. I'd probably, I'd probably give this a five out of ten. I have to. I don't know why I'm rating this. It's not like I'm doing a mod review. I'm just checking out cool things. But I'm still giving it a five out of ten because I want it to be a bit more useful. I guess. I don't see myself using this. This mod is definitely going to become a, a mainstay in my mods folder, so to speak. Because this... Oh, I love this. I'd like to lower the number, though. I'd like it to be like this high above ground. Wait, it's impressive. Very, very impressive. It's flying to my train. About to hop in. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's so good. You should subscribe.